As the country burst into flames after the announcement of the disputed election results, many watched in shock. But according to the Kenya National Dialogue and Reconciliation Monitoring Project report, the images of a country in fire seems to have faded from the memories of the country's leaders. <laughs> On 28th of February last year, both President Kibaki and Prime Minister Raila Odinga signed the national accord which was filled with reform proposals to cushion Kenya from ever going through another election crisis. Among the proposed reforms was the establishment and implementation of the Krigler and Waki Commissions, electoral reforms addressing past injustices and national cohesion. The report, however, reveals that the reforms so far undertaken are not sufficient to prevent a repeat of those dark days. <laughs> the two principals are now being accused of failing to provide the necessary political leadership to avoid violence in future. The report further indicates that Kenyans have little confidence that key suspects of the post-election violence will be punished. 81% prefer that the six cabinet ministers, five MPs and other prominent people who allegedly planned the violence after the December 2007 elections and whose names are sealed in an envelope, be tried at the International Criminal Court at The Hague. 75% of Kenyans also want the people who looted property, killed, raped and evicted people from their farms arrested and prosecuted in a court with similar powers as the ICC. 25% are however said to be in favor of forgiveness. The report casts doubt on the performance of a special local tribunal. It says that the tribunal would not achieve the expected results because the majority of the witnesses might not come forth for fear of being attacked by armed groups. Sylvia Chabet, Citizen TV, Nairobi.